If you want to infuse Black history into your curriculum, but without the drama and the struggle, stick around. I just might have something for you. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. This is Nikki with That Homeschool Life, where I bring you real, honest, and practical homeschool information and a little bit of inspiration and motivation and laughs thrown in. Today, I am doing a product review for a Black History for Tots activity pack. But before I get started, I do want you to know I received a free digital copy of this activity pack that I'm going to share with you, but it, it, no way is that going to influence my opinion. You know, I give it to you real, I give it to you honest. That's in my tagline. <laughs> so here are a number of things that I'm going to discuss with you. One is what is the product? Who is the creator? Who is this product for? I'm going to give you the product details. I'm going to give you the costs. I'm also going to tell you what I like about this product and what I would like to see in this product, okay? There's your framework. Let's get going. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Very colorful, very lovely, quite lovely in fact. This is a digital copy that I received. So I, I, I received this as a PDF file and then I printed it and then I put a, a book comb or a spine on the side so the uh, pages could rest flat. You don't have to do this, but this is how I received it and how I am presenting it to you. So this is Black History for Tiny Tots, the Garrett Morgan Activity Pack by Goose Goose Duck, the company, ages four to six. So let's take a peek inside. So when you look inside, you immediately have your parent guide and how to use the lessons and how to present the lessons to your kid, your child. Now, for the Garrett Morgan activity pack, you're going to go to Goose Goose Duck's YouTube channel and you're going to watch a short little video on Garrett Morgan. It There is a catchy nursery rhyme that helps the child and you remember something notable about Garrett Morgan. And then you will begin your lessons so this is what it looks like this is lesson one and if you look here you'll see which lesson you're on at the top in the blue bar then you'll have your content area this is usually going to be arranged by stem literacy or math and then you'll have the specific skill or objective that your child is working on in this lesson in this case we're working on observation skills okay in the instruction area you'll see your materials an explanation with a little script if you need a script to help make um, the lesson you know a little bit easier for you to teach and then I'll have a little section a little parent section that gives you a little bit of background information that you might need for the lesson and then you'll have your actual instructions on how to like assemble the materials or anything that you need and then the instructions continue and then you'll have a final thought something about Garrett Morgan and that's lesson one real easy peasy now lesson one aligns with the activity in the back and these are cards that you cut out and um, you can play with these cards a couple of different ways you can make it a memory game you can make it uh, a read and recall where you ask um, the child questions about um, what you just read to the child. Actually, I have a couple of cards. Let me show you. So these are the, some of the cards. I actually did this activity with my children ages 9, 11, and 14. And it was great. They, I, I would show them the pictures. I read, they know about Garrett Morgan. We have the books on him. But I showed them the pictures. I read a little blurb. And then I asked them questions just to test their reading comprehension. And this is one example of an activity that you can do with your child. So I'll just flip through this very quickly. lesson three um, lesson four still stem but you're you're working on writing a recipe and sequence and sequencing let's see oh I'm sorry so lesson three and four are recipes so that you start the recipe in lesson three and then you continue that with a with writing of the recipe um, in lesson four 
And then lesson five, you now enter your literary um, arena and you're practicing persuasive writing. To show you what I'm talking about for the recipes, and you can see here. So she does a good job of differentiating um, the recipe. So that was, I think, lesson three. And then for lesson four, you're going to differentiate, you're going to differentiate each lesson for your child. So you see for, for the six-year-old, your, your kindergartner or maybe first grader, you have the pictures with a lot of text. And then for your five-year-old, it's just like a, you know, a short sentence, no more than three or four words with the pictures. And then for your four-year-old, you just have the pictures. So, so that's differentiated for the different um, ages. And then for lesson six, you're into the math arena. You're developing critical thinking skills. You're using a Sudoku board, which is included. Lesson six continued. And now you have your final lesson, which is lesson seven. You are practicing how to sort, classify, order objects by size, shape, and color. This is actually a math content area, but that's okay. And then um, this is a continuation of this. That's what it looks like. And that's your final lesson. And then the activity, just so you can see some of the activity sheets that go with this. Okay, so that's what the Garrett Morgan activity pack looks like. That was our quick little walkthrough. Now about the creator of this, her name is Monica Dorsey. Now Monica is a former freelance journalist and mom. So when she had her two children, she found it hard to find resources that depicted African American people in a positive light and showing our accomplishments. So what do most moms do when they see a problem? We create a solution. So that's how Goose Goose Duck came into being. So what I want to talk about now is who this is for. This is really for everybody because although this activity series focuses on African-American sheroes and heroes, this is American history as well. So really this is for any parent who wants diversity in his or her child's um, education. And it's also for uh, black families who want to start depositing positive images of people, places, things, and events into our child's DNA before they go out into the world and be bombarded with things that aren't for them. Okay, product details, let's get to the nitty gritty. This activity pack has 65 pages. Now I printed this out, If you can buy this on Amazon. Now you can get it as a paperback where I imagine um, Goose Goose Duck will print this out and send it to you, but I just put this together myself. But 65 pages, and you saw all of the lessons, you saw the materials needed to do some of these activities, most things you can find around the house. Cost, this Garrett Morgan activity pack, 65 pages, seven lessons, is $35.99 on Amazon. The Kindle is $29.99. Most people would probably get the hard copy of this, which is $35.99. Now, I think the price is very steep to be only seven lessons. Now, perhaps in the future, they could make this a bundle to make it worth $35, but typically when you're looking at $20 and above, the creator is including enough work for a whole semester or a whole year, or there will be a series of similar activities grouped together or lesson plans grouped together known as a bundle for that price point, especially for that age group. The kids aren't really doing that much. That's um, a steep price. Now, what I like about this activity um, pack is the low prep. Again, most things took me five minutes or less to get together. To, and I like that you have the YouTube video. Videos are very nice and they have catchy songs to make your children remember what they're learning. Um, I really like uh, the selection of these notable African-American pioneers, heroes and sheroes. Now, what I would like to see. Number one, I would like to see books. <laughs> book tie-ins for each lesson. This is the age where children are just sponges. I was surprised there were no books um, related to the Garrett Morgan activity pack. I actually have two Garrett Morgan books on our bookshelves. But what, what the first thing I noticed about the activity pack 
when I saw Garrett Morgan, the first thing I thought of was ideals. Inventors come up with ideals. They see problems and they make solutions. Everything, but everything is based on an ideal. So I would like to see for each uh, lesson, I would have liked to have seen a book that corresponds with that. You know, some lessons talked about your senses. You know, I can think of a whole bunch of Dr. Seuss books on the senses. Um, there are lots of books on what makes a good idea. So those are just some ideals um, that could go into maybe future activity packs. But if you buy the activity pack, just know you can easily grab books to extend the learning for each lesson. I also would like to see a downloadable PDF. I need something that I can just print and go. Currently right now, the only way to get um, the activity pack is to go onto Amazon and buy it and then it's like a five day turnaround before you can get it. I would like to see an option where you, you're just mailed a digital file and then you can just print it, you can just download it and print it and you know go on and start your lessons. I also would like to see a lower price point. When I see resources, learning resources that are $20 and above, I almost always see enough lessons to last a semester or 16 weeks thereabout, or lessons that last uh, an entire year. Usually those are 36 lessons based on a 180 day school year, a lesson a week. So for that price point, um, I would have expected to have seen maybe five notable African-American um, activity packs bundled together or more lessons or a lower price point. So those are some things to keep in mind. Let me know what you think about this. If you've bought the activity pack and you've used it, let us know down below and definitely go to Goose Goose duck.com check out their website i do have a link down below in the description box remember if you sign up for the newsletter you get two activity packs for free it's not going to be the activity pack that i'm reviewing here but it's something that you can definitely um, have fun with also check out goose goose duck the youtube channel there uh, monica puts out twice a month i believe two videos twice a month and she's got a bevy of Sheroes and heroes there. We have a lot of homeschoolers who are business women or businessmen and they see a need and they tailor and make something for us. So when you see something like that, you know, try and support um, these people. Now, speaking of which, <laughs> as a businesswoman, <laughs> I've started so many businesses, guys. I have a daily plan checklist. Get yourself organized. I know daily plan checklist also known as routines or schedules they scare people it's nothing scary about this y'all look the font's big i got big circles here write down what subject you're studying math what pages did you do anything you need to remember did it get done check you know if you have spelling words sight words notes uh daily goals all of that easy peasy write down the date circle it and you're done get that daily plan checklist for free do me a favor Hit that like, share, or subscribe button. It helps more than you realize. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you on the next share. This is Nikki. I love you guys. Bye.